Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will teach you two essential time intelligence DAX functions, same period last year and parallel period. I will guide you step by step on how to create measures using these two functions and explain their key differences. First, let me show you the tables that I'll be using. So the first one is orders table and the second one is calendar table. So I have just created this table using calendar function and uh, this table has a date field and on top of that I have just created this month year and year month, these two fields. And also these two tables are connected through the date field. Now let's get back to the example. I have also created a measure. It's a very straightforward measure total sales which is like sum of sales. Let's look at this uh, first table. Suppose you want to compare last year's sales for each row. For example, if you consider the year 2015, you want an additional column along with this total sales. And on the same row, you want to see the total sales for 2014. So similarly for 2014, the additional column should show the total sales for 2013. So basically for each year you want to see the current year sales as well as the previous year sales and you can easily achieve this by same period last year DAX function. So let's first take a look at this function. This function works exactly as its name suggests. So it returns the same period from the last year from the previous year so if you are analyzing the data at the day level it provides the same day from the last year similarly if you are viewing the data at month quarter or year level it returns the corresponding month quarter or year but from the last year and the syntax is same period last year and just the date field now this function basically returns a table so you cannot just use this function to create a measure you have to use this function with some other function so in our example we'll be using this function with the calculate function and this function will basically use for the filter context let's first create our measure with the same period last year DAX so go to new measure and let's name it as total sales last year as i have already mentioned that i'll be using the same period last year with calculate function so calculate then total sales comma now i will specify same period last year and here i will pass the date column so my date column is calendar date and that's it save the measure let me now add this measure to this table so see here if you look at 2015 it is showing me the total sales value of 2014 that is 3405860. Again, if you look at 2014, it is showing me the total sales of 2013. And since there is no year prior to 2012 in my data set, so for 2012, there is no sales for the previous year. That's the reason it is showing blank. This is how using same period last year DAX function very easily you can see your previous year data. Now in the second visual you are seeing here I am showing the data at month level right. Now let me add the same measure to this visual and see whether at month level also the same measure is working properly or not. So I'll just add this and see here there is no year prior to 2012. So you are seeing blank for 2012. That is absolutely fine. So for Jan 2013, it should show me the data for Jan 2012, just previous year data, but for the same period. So for Jan 2012, the total sales was 98,902. And this is what you are seeing. Similar for April 2014, Previous year data means April 2013 data. So if you see here for April 2013, the sales amount was 1,61,060. And for April 2014, you are seeing the same number. You can see that the same period last year function is a very flexible function. 
by passing the date field you can make it work for year for month even for quarter as well uh, if you want to see the percentage of change of total sales compared to previous year you can easily implement that by using same period last year dax function so let me just quickly create another measure let's name it as percentage sales change and I'll be using divide function here and my numerator will be total sales minus total sales last year and my denominator will be total sales last year. Let's change the format to percentage. Let me just add this measure as well to this table and see it is showing me the percentage of sales change compared to previous year similarly if i add this to this view also it will work as per the expectation these are the scenarios where you can use this same period last year dax function next we'll move to parallel period so first let's look at the definition if you look at the syntax you have to pass three parameters the first one is date so you have to pass the dates field and the second one is number of intervals this number of intervals can be either negative for past periods or positive for future periods and the third one is interval so interval can be month quarter or year so basically this function will also contain a date Fill just like same period last year but here you can shift the date based on the number of intervals forward or backward and also you can specify the interval right like whether it will be year or quarter or month let's get back to our examples so let me first create our measure using parallel period function so again since parallel period function also uh, returns a table so we cannot directly use this function to create a measure we have to use it with calculate function so let's create the measure let's name it as total sales parallel period and we'll use calculate function then total sales and now we have to specify parallel period and our first parameter is the date field so we'll take the date from calendar date comma then we have to specify the number of intervals so in order to show the data for previous year i mean one year back you have to use minus so the negative value means it will show you the data for past period so minus one comma and now you have to specify the interval so let's keep it as year since we want to see the data for last year let's add one more bracket and save it and let's add this measure to this table so see here it is showing the same number as same period last year because in this example this parallel period is also showing the data for one year ago now for example if i want to see two years ago total sale this is where parallel period is different from same period last year because using same period last year you can only shift the data one year ago while parallel period allows you to move backward or forward by any number of intervals you can see last month sale you can also calculate sales from like two years ago or any other specified period so uh, to see two years ago sales what i have to do is i will just change it from minus one to minus two and just save it and see here so for 2014 two years ago means it will be 2012 and for 2012 the total sales is 2259511 and that is the number you are seeing here similarly for 2015 two years ago sales means it should show the sales of 2013 and this total sales value you are seeing over here you are not seeing any data for 2012 and 2013 because there are no data in our data set prior to two years for this two specific years so now again let me just change this to minus one and save this uh, also let me just exclude the percentage of sales from here as well okay so we have already seen that we created one measure using same period last year and that worked for both year as well as month right 
and now we'll see whether a parallel period also works in similar fashion or not so let me add this measure to this table as well now see here same period last year gave me the accurate data by month but since i have created the measure where i have specified the interval as year this one is showing me the data for the entire year see for 2013 the total sales amount is 2259511 and this is what it is showing for all the months it is basically ignoring the filter context so this is where same period last year and parallel period function works in a different way in order to make this work what i have to do is since i am showing the data here at month level i have to make a small adjustment over here go to the measure and here you have to change the calculation i have to go 12 months back and here i have to change the interval type to month this means it will show me the period the parallel period which is like 12 months ago so that is again same as one year back but since i am showing this visual at month level i have to use the interval type as month and i have to change the number of intervals accordingly let's save this measure see here now it is working as expected now let me give you one more example if you want to see next month data so in that case you have to use the number of intervals as positive numbers so positive means it will give you next month or forward data let me just save this now see here for jan 2013 you should see the data for feb 2013 and for feb 2013 the sales amount is 98864 and that's what you are seeing here similarly let me show you for some other month for example for june 2015 you should see the data for july 2015 so july 2015 sales amount is 258718 and that's what you are seeing here so now you can see like this parallel period function allows you to move both backward and forward by any number of intervals i hope now you were able to understand how these two dax functions work and how they are different from each other that's all for today's video thanks a lot for watching do subscribe to my channel bye bye